Action! Activate! Dude. What's going on? I'm Gazbot, and this is Action Activate. And if I'm Gazbot and this is Action Activate, then with me as always... It is I, the big dog, making uh, making his appearance for Dino Fury Episode 4. Yes. For the review. Um, that, which is titled something like Tiny Trouble something? Tiny Trouble. There you go. Perfect. Uh, do you want to give first impressions? Yep, uh, Ion's the worst. I officially hate him after this episode. Um, there were like two that, like, if I could take four minutes from this episode and make it like a short, I think it would be awesome. And then there was a good like fifteen to twenty minutes that I could have probably gone without. So you generally disliked this episode? Yes, I generally liked it. Shocker! <laughs> uh, but I'm not gonna be like you're crazy. I'm gonna fight you. Like it's not like I was like this is amazing. I. My general thought was this is another more or less solid episode. Like we've been getting this, this half of the, wait, is this the second half of the season one or the first half of season two? Now first I'm, half season two. First half, half season. So yeah, generally higher quality, um, but n still kind of starting to coast into like, okay, they're better, but where are we going? You know, but it did have a little bit at the end. Like, so, so I was like, you know, fluctuating between this is fine. This is good. It's kind of like where I was feeling most of the time. Um, I like the opening. Go ahead. No, go. I liked the opening training stuff. I thought that was fun. I liked the opening training stuff too. Minus Ion being the literal worst character on this entire show. Here's okay. Here's I don't like Ion either. Uh, I kind of liked that up until now. It's been I'm gonna give myself a one shot. Up until now. Ion has been sort of like, what are we doing with this character? He looks cool. I guess he's a good fighter sometimes, but not always. And like, oh, he's the one holding, you know, uh, Zato to task for being, but then he's also a goof off. And like, like what? And he just keeps making dumb mistakes. And like, I, I don't get it. And with this episode, I feel like, at least for me, they solidified and crystallized. Hey, he's a goof off. He's bad at his job. And he's a little bit full of himself, undeservedly so. And that's what you should expect from this character. And if you thought, well, he's still a good fighter later in the episode, they're like, no, also he's not a very good fighter. So he's, this is who he is. And, and now it's codified. And now I could stop wondering what is he, what are we doing? This is the character and they're leaning into it. And honestly, it makes me feel better about the situation. I don't disagree with things you were saying for the most part. Mm -hmm. It just made me officially not like him as a character and not dancing around the topic anymore. One thing I will say, and I'm jumping ahead a bit, like I like this because it's ridiculous. Like he's terrible. What are you doing? You're terrible. But again, it's there's no, it's not like, oh, am I being too hard on him? No, we're supposed to think he's terrible. We're supposed to think that. So it's fine. Uh, and I like the training exercise. I like the way the Rangers kind of tricked each other. I like that Zato, who you think would win the whole thing, gets knocked out right away. And, you know, I like, I thought it was fun. It was a fun little scene. And, and Ion being like, I'm too good for this is like, yeah, okay, buddy, fine. We, we, we never liked you and you've just proven us right. So the thing that I disagree with from the statement you said is we all establish that Ion's the worst. Mm -hmm. I get that. But when it comes to team dynamic and morale, like, he is officially the weakest link and he brings everybody down and Zato being his oldest friend there isn't kind of holding him accountable for it and being like, dude, we're a team. Like you can't just sit here and eat cake while right. we're all training. Like this is ridiculous. I, I do think, and that's something that happens with Ollie and uh, later in this episode too. It was like, don't, you can't feel sorry for yourself right now. We got to go do the thing. And he wasn't like, he didn't say like, you didn't make a mistake. He's like, we don't have time for you to feel sorry for yourself. No. I and, and I was going to touch on that too, yeah. but like, that's the thing I don't like is, with the way this episode showed everything, it yeah. made Zato a little bit worse as their leader too. Of like, yeah. oh, I guess 
Ion can do whatever he wants because he's got a lightning armor and a and a Mosa sword. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He keeps getting away. I, I don't think anyone's going. Hey, you did a good job. I think it's always like we don't have time to deal with your stuff right now, yeah. which is fair in the moment. But you're right. Zato as the leader, there should be an episode where he pulls him aside and says, "Look, privately, what is going on? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like you're being the worst. Yeah. Um. So he he there's a little bit of comedy as he's trying to growify the Packazord or whatever. Um, not the worst we've seen. Uh, not great. Oops, sorry, I'm on the wrong thing here. So, but just it, for what, con- yeah, oh, go you ahead. first. Well, I was gonna say this is a dumb thing, but look at the top of the nozzle. Right, it points straight up. I know. He, he growifies it, and all. Well, now it's not going straight up, and no whipped cream can in the world is made like that. Yeah. But because they wanted it to spray into Zato's face, that's why they had to do that. Yeah. I know, so thing, but- I started this episode while I was. Um, like sitting on the couch next to Mrs. Big Dog. Of course. And I said, oh no, <laughs> you're in here. This means this episode's going to be terrible. <laughs> and <laughs> here we go. She's like, wait, so what's going on? And I'm like, I got nothing. And she's like, oh, and we're awesome. And like, everybody's talking goofy. And she's like, what? I was like, no, like, <sighs> and this is my point. The last three episodes, minus a couple things, I'm like, no, like, it's it's been good and, and solid and like will, a I real will, show. I'm going to offer you this thought though. Um, not to take away from your opinion that it wasn't that good or whatever, but I know for myself, there have been times when I show someone something and it's not going over well. And I'm like, Ugh, like, and it makes it seems worse. So like, I think anything that wasn't good because she was there felt worse. You know what I mean? Like amplified those feelings. So I, for the most part, And I can't think of an example where I don't feel this way. Whenever we've had the gag comedy with just the Rangers and it's Mm -hmm. just Ranger centric, I have not liked it. Mm -hmm. And that with this too, like you do the whipped cream, fine, fine. Right. And then you do it again with the donut. And then it just creates another plot hole, which it sounds like I'm being you, like how much I'm reading into this. So you have a key that, or yeah, you have a key that grows things. Mm Mm-hmm. You've officially shown that you can grow food to very large sizes and quantities. It should feed the world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I, okay. Now you guys are just showing another plot hole. Like, you could literally yeah. just, like, be omnipotent, like, my providers thought, for the world. Yeah, my thought was that it was temporary. But if it was temporary, then it wouldn't make sense to use on the Zord. Um, I will say I liked the way the Zord looked. The effects, it jumped around. It looked cute. It looked believable. It was It was good effects on that Zord. This, I will give them credit, is a good example of we're shoehorning a cute character for you to like, and it worked for me. Yes. Uh, also, uh, as much as, you know, the, the weird donut slaps, like, I like how Zato just like slides in here. Like, same. We're the try. Like that, that was the best part of this whole thing was his deadpan. Let's bring it back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, gonna, I, yeah, go ahead. I, again, like, and every single scene, because I didn't harp on it in the last one, Ion's just like derp a derp. Yeah. Derp, 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 derp. He's like, yeah, and, and we know he's overconfident and he thinks he knows everything, which he acknowledges later in the episode. But a lot of it is he thinks this is his old friend that got shrunk, and he's like, I don't understand. I know him. And I don't know if or when you realized it, but at some point in the episode, and it was further in than I'd care to admit, I realized, oh, this isn't his friend. Like it isn't that they just changed. It's of like a baby one, I guess. And that's why it's small. And when I realized that I was like, Oh wait, Zords could have babies. That's really weird. And like the whole way he was interacting, like, like the, the Zord dynamics are always a little weird. Like, are they sentient? Are they pets? Are they just, you know, and usually they kind of try to stay a little bit away from that because there's not a good answer, but yeah. this one really made it seem like it's an animal that you could play with that reproduced. And like, it's just, it just got a little weird that the whole concept got a little weird in every possible instance I was thinking of. I mm-hmm. still was like, you're a moron. Like you need, th- this is, j- you just need so to, even when I'm thinking of like, what does this mean for Zords? You're like, Ion's terrible. I don't care. Like, well, no, <laughs> like I, I thought similar things of trying to figure it out, but in all of those instances, what do they need to do? The same thing. You know her. You don't know her. She knows you. She doesn't know you. She's right. the same sword. She's a different sword. Just, uh, I, I've never felt more 
relatable to Ollie than this episode, and that also pissed me off a little bit. Because <laughs> Ollie, for the most part, has been kind of like a... Ollie did uh, a good job this episode. With the, he, he did. did like, time. everything yeah. Ollie did, I'm like, okay, Ollie, Ollie's second in command officially. Yeah. <laughs> Put him in charge. Just strip, uh, the, strip the dino key away, kind of fuse them together, and, you know, you got blue and gold right there. I do like also when we get back to the uh, enemies here where they put the sporks in. He's like, here we go. Oh, and just like last episode, we this really again, like very viscerally agreeing here. Um, We forgot to mention the eye guy. That's not his name. Uh, found the last sporks in town. And it was right next to the, the base of the, the power Rangers. That makes me feel like they're not doing a very good job looking for sporks, but yeah. you know, um, I do like here when he was saying that's the only one they have. And and Void Knight's like, wait a minute, aren't aren't you a Sporex? I'm like, yes, that's what I was thinking. I I like that, uh, but he's like, well, wait, I have other ideas. I saw this little baby Zord. He's like, fine, go look for the baby Zord. And then we cut back to Ion being awesome. Again, this is just the dumbest thing. Like, there's no rationale. He's just an idiot. He should not have the abilities and capabilities and powers he has because he is a small child. Yeah, I, it, which again, if he, what you know, what his character should be because they're also leaning into like I don't understand humans. I mean, all this donuts and I don't know how to say donuts and like stuff that kind of could work and make sense, but they're leaning into it like late. Yeah, um, so it's weird. Um, and they set him up as essentially Zato's equal. Like Zato was his commander, but like they were in wars together and they were troopers. And Zato has a pleasant personality, but he's competent and he kind of you can tell he's been through some stuff. Yeah. and he just seems like a big kid. What they should have done was had him be from Zato's planet, but not be like this comrade in arms. He was at, just somebody from his planet. Yeah. Just another kid. And that would make him also be like, how could you do this and make that bad decision? Because now he's just some kid. And then he gets the powers and it's like, oh, he's not really good at him. And like the whole thing would make way more sense and lean into that character from the beginning. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. So, it, yeah. And then so – jump forward a little bit so he he loses packy i think or something pocky yeah. um the bad guys get him he's like hey guys i really i really need backup and then ollie straight up calls him out and i just yeah. want you to freeze on him glaring at ollie because i've never wanted to hit a ranger more than like th this is the second yeah. most operation really. overdrive is one this is two really so he is your second least favorite ranger of all time at this point um, I can't think of anybody I dislike more. Top five worst, fair to say? Oh, easily. Easily wow. top five worst. If you're not including the full Overdrive team, then yes. Well, I mean, why are we even talking about Overdrive? Because they're going to be up on uh, high. So that's just like, it makes no sense to even bring them into this conversation. We're talking about, I, I was saying the ones you like the least. Operation Overdrive is my favorite season. Right, all, not the best. Understood. Yeah, all jokes aside, like I seriously hate him. Right. Like uh, you definitely hate him more than I do. Uh, I, yeah, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I keep thinking of it. There's ways to make this work. They're just not doing something else. Did we talk about this? Um, I, I just learned about this somewhere. I think it was in an interview he had or something. Um, the actor whose name escapes me was Jordan now, something. He, he, well, I guess he's an actor now, but he was not an actor. He was uh, a model and, and he is a good looking guy. So that makes sense. Um, but I guess, He's from New Zealand, and during the pandemic, when it first locked down and stuff, he his agent. I don't know this. Well, the story doesn't quite make sense because, like, oh, you're not getting modeling work. Be an actor. But basically, the the story was that his agent was like, you should try acting too because you'll get more work or something like that. And so he branched out into this. Now, I don't know if he took acting classes or whatever, or if this was literally just like, hey, I'll try it. Um, and that might explain why he's a little stiff with his line reads and stuff, and why. I don't know how much control they have when they get a script and like they might just have to do what they have to do. Maybe a more experienced actor would be like, Hey, can I do this a little different? I don't know. And this all sounds very negative, but it's a little bit of an explanation maybe. Uh, but also jumping ahead, one of my big critiques of him as a performer, which again, we don't know the direction forgetting about the writing. Cause that's not his fault is he'd be like, Moza blast. Here we go. I'm attacking. Uh, you know, he's just very low key and kind of bored, even when he's doing ranger attacks. Later in this episode, he actually is talking like a power ranger. He's getting his butt kicked, but he's like, come on, let's go. And I was like, oh, it's like he learned how to be a power ranger this episode. I don't know if you agree or disagree, but it made sense to me that it was a learning curve. If like he was 
learning how to be an actor and like he kind of started figuring it out around this time. The hate has consumed me. Okay. Well, I, but we'll, again, we'll get to I'm it. Honestly, the character. I'm talking about the actor. No, I know. We'll get to it more when it's there because right now I'm just in this moment of like hating him, even <laughs> remotely being upset with anybody other than himself. Okay. <laughs> so love Regmate. Like, love yeah, Regmate. Regmate gives his deal. He's like, "What's your counter offer? It's morphin time." That was kind of good. But, like, once it, look at his face. He's so intense. Once again, and that's the thing. He can emote. I think that the the actor is capable of acting. I think he's making, getting bad direction or making weird choices. You know what I mean? Like, cause it's just like, yeah, that I could tell he's a very intense face there, but it doesn't really match the rest of the team. Like, well, and the, the situation, um, the, the comedy slapstick in the beginning, notwithstanding, there was some good one-liners here and there and generally yep. it was fine. No J Borg, no pop pop, none of that stuff. I wonder if they have kind of phased them out for the rest of the season or, I don't think the rest of the season, I think for this arc, they're not. Maybe. So, oh, this is around the time when I realized when he's like, I know him so well. And I'm like, why, why is it like being small? Wouldn't make you forget things and wouldn't make you act totally different. And I'm like, is it a different Zord? And that's when I was like, oh no, is it a baby Zord? And that's when I started thinking, oh no, it is. And then it's going back to its mother is what it's doing. So I figured that out because I'm a genius, even though other people probably figured it out at the beginning of the episode, but I, I, it really bothered me. Cause I'm like, I don't want, it, that to be what it is because it opens up all kinds of weird questions the other thing that morality. was weird here is and they never explain this in most power ranger seasons why they need to unmorph ever i took that you're right and it is an ongoing power Ranger thing. i, I took, took it as a as, behind the scenes thing well i took it as a behind the scenes thing because they had like a quick burst like they filmed them running but in universe i have two explanations one is and i know it's from zordon era but the, the non-escalation so they don't need to be using your powers to chase down this little harmless thing. So that's like using powers you don't need to. So that's not necessarily canon here, but it's sort of a theme. The other is um, if I am trying to catch a dog or a cat or something, I'm going to want to appear as non-threatening as possible. So, Fair. you know, being they can see my face, they can hear my voice. I'm not, you know, that seems to be the way to go after them. So it didn't really bother me. With you, though, in the same vein, they both don't need their weapons the whole time running. That's true, except, well, yes, but I think they had it out because that's how they used their keys. And so they knew they were going to use this. Again, that's a behind the scenes thing because they knew they'd have to use the keys. And how where's the sword come from? Otherwise, they just pull it out of nowhere, which is what happened. No, they do that all the time anyway, though. They do that all the time. You're right. Yeah. And yeah it, it, it was. A, it didn't totally take me out, but it's just one of those, like like you said, a line, two lines, something like that. Yeah. Hey, uh, let's unmorph so you know, we're going to look familiar or whatever. Sure. Um, so he uh, uses the ear key and then the eye key, which honestly didn't really bother me as much. Ollie doing it unmorphed as like utility stuff as it does when they pull him out in the middle of a fight. For some reason, this yeah. seems to be like the way they should use him. Yeah. It also reminded me of, uh, and I just watched a video on this, so it's top of mind. Um, in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie where they all had like weird helmet oh, yeah. like abilities like it, it made me think of that like oh let me use this thing that you've never seen before but like makes sense that i can do it and you're like okay right. <laughs> well i i guess also um i'm a fan of civilian powers i'm a fan of the yeah. the the being able to do things as humans that other humans can't do and so i again it's not like he's like defeating villains but like oh i could use these special keys to do you know and i don't know and, and maybe ollie looked into that and like did research and I don't love this part, but I do like that they set up that there's the grow key. And Ion yeah. actually had a good idea. Like, throw it and I'll make it big. That was kind of cool. Same. I, I don't like how <laughs> how Ollie tried to lift a boulder. That was dumb. Like, yeah. I thought he was going to find a big boulder and use, like, a strength key. Is what I yeah, same, 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 yeah. same. Um, so they smash it open. Oh, look, there it is. It's got a baby. The key's in the baby. Here you go. Here's the key. And then once again... Ion kind of doing the right thing. Well, definitely doing the right thing, but kind of like, yeah, of course. He was given the key, and he's like, oh, I guess I should give this to you. And I was like, no, you keep it. You you learned it. I messed up. And it's like, yeah. And it kind of reminds me of the motorcycle one. Not quite as bad, but it's like, of course keep it. They gave it to him. Clearly, they have some sort of personality and gave it to him. But it's like, yeah, whatever. Ion did the but right thing. But it's your favorite. I was like, oh, stop it. I know this is for children, but please. Yeah. So they get all chained up by Wreckmate. These guys show up. And then Ollie's like, or Ion's like, I'll take care of the sporks, which grew big for some reason. And you take care of Wreckmate with the new key. 
He shows up with his Zord, gets his butt kicked, which again, going back to what I was saying, he, the actor is doing good Power Ranger acting at that point. I think the best he's done the entire season. Yeah. But then the character fails. So I, like, it's weird because like, I think we agree that this is like another bad Ion episode. But again, for me, it just made it clear Ion is bad at everything. And that's who he is. <laughs> now I can accept that and I'm fine with it. One one thing will redeem my hate for Ion. What's that? If they show that the whole reason that they are here is because on Rafcon, Ion goofed so bad that everything crumbled and like the planet got destroyed because of him. But Zato doesn't know this. Yes. Okay, because if Zato knows this, then he's even worse than I am. No, oh, yeah. But if it's like, actually, I sabotaged this thing, too. And I, I thought by putting all the power in the in the core of the Megazord, it helped. But really, we all exploded and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I doubt they will do that, but I understand how you would like yeah. that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm just going to always hate Ion. That's kind of where we're at. Uh, uh, this It's funny. We were just talking about super armors. This isn't my favorite. I think it's fine. Um, it's not elegant. No. Um, I can see as a kid really like it. Like if they came yeah. out this version of the figure, which I don't think they have. Um, that's the, I guess that's the other thing. I like it to be serious or goofy in terms of like Sentai stuff. And like, I feel like this episode got a little goofy with like this, this, this like the baby dinosaur stuff. Like it's weird. If I think about it too much, it's weird. Like, but he gets these sort of like boxing glove things and then they get into the Megazord fight later. And like, they literally are in like a boxing ring and yeah. it's so ridiculous that I kind of liked it. I kind of, yeah. I kind of smiled because like, when the, the Packy Zord came out, it was actually um, in a, uh, a ring. Like, like when you yeah. see, and I'm like, they Oh, that's like right telephone yeah. lines to make yeah, a ring. And, and I'm like, Oh, that's weird. I guess because boxing. And when I saw the telephone lines, I literally was like, Oh, I started to grow. And I was like, no, nah, actually this is kind of funny. I kind of yeah. like, it. and Agreed. then, it won me over because as they're fighting, they're doing all the punches, they're doing a lot of boxing jokes, and just like fancy footwork. Like it's so goofy that it's charming. And yeah. but what really got me was this right wait, it's coming up. He punches them. And I'm also a big Rocky fan. So I like yeah. I don't watch boxing, but I like like hyper dramatic boxing, you know. Um, but there's this punch. Wait, where is it? It's right up here where he oh, basically he oh, the spit. The oh yeah, I love that water-based monster. Where is that? But it's like that's what you see, and all the poo. And so when I saw that, I I laughed out loud. I was like, oh, that was amazing. And then I give him another yeah. one. Poo. So I really liked this fight for how yeah. ridiculously charming. This it was. was one of those things. It reminded me of RPM. Where like RPM, I haven't watched it. Um, for uh, was it Golanger? Was that yeah. the center? Where I haven't watched that, but apparently it's like crazy ridiculous like over the top goofy right. and rpm was like crazy serious and even in the show they bring up like why are these these big anime eyes on our zords and they're like it's not it's a serious thing and blah blah and we're yeah. aware that it's weird and we're acknowledging it and this is kind of the same thing of like without them saying it they're like this is sentai footage yeah we're adapting sentai footage <laughs> enjoy yeah. it and you're like yeah it was cool absolutely um and i also love here that when i saw the sporks falling i'm like Please let Void Knight get this and be yes, done with this. And same. Yeah. And he even says, like, either way, Oculo, you were going to be a sports from a machine. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's And then he crazy. goes to the base and he's like, if this didn't work, I'm murdering one of you. Yes. And these guys have a little chuckle. Who cares? And yeah. Then, yeah. The, the joking here was kind of whatever. Like, whatever. I, yeah, I, I just shrugged a lot of it. Um, the fact that Ion sleeps in there and like is still a ranger is ridiculous he yeah, should whatever. be excommunicated and they get a replacement but yeah. that's just me i like that they finally powered up the machine and we knew it was to revive her because we've seen this and whatever but i didn't expect i i and like they said it like we're gonna see her open her eyes we know that and then oh wait i, I went up too much but when she oh i just started the next episode well anyway <laughs> stitched up let's watch it right now live um no when they did it though i just wanted to show that shot of her eyes basically is what i was going for her eyes look crazy. Yeah, they um, really do. Like they look alien or frozen or something. Why can't I not go back here? It's it's making you gotta me... Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah. There you go. Okay. This is not gonna be worth it, but just do yeah. you know what I'm talking about? I do. Okay, here we go. Where yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. <laughs> now, is she an alien? Has she been changed because of this process? And that's why she looks this way. Uh, or is this like 
a misdirection MacGuffin where the next episode she won't have that, but they want us all to be like, whoa, what happened here? I think it's one of the first two. Okay. But also, I, am I wrong in thinking that she looks different and uh, like her hair and her skin also look more white and pale than they did previously? No, I, that's just you. I okay. think she's always looked white and pale. All right. So she's either an alien or this is some effect of what's been going through. But yeah, well, this goes back to why I kind of like this episode. Uh, they, they codified Ion as terrible. They had a fun Sentai charming fight and did forward the plot. They finally finished the machine. I knew we weren't going to really see what happened, but it's like, this is the first episode in a while. I've been like, Ooh, I can't wait to see the next episode. You know? So I, I, I give it a B minus. I give it a B minus. I give it a C minus. Shocking. Yeah. It, it's <laughs> a thing. I too am excited for the next episode, but for all of the wrong reasons, like I'm excited because I was like, oh, all right, I slogged through this. Now I've earned the next episode. <laughs> Not like this is so good. I can't stop watching. It was like, please don't do this again. I really want to see the plot forwarded in not a goofy way. Yeah, I I can't. I mean, I definitely think it was the weakest one this season so far. But I still think it's better than a lot of what we were getting last season. And because of reasons I said, even though objectively it's worse than some of the others, it didn't bother me the way it bothered you. Um, Fair. But yeah, I just, I, I, I officially don't like Ion. It's fine. You don't have to. Yeah, I know. I, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do this, but I'm curious to go back on like my peak Ravi dislike and compare it to now. Cause also Ravi, I had a lot more hours with. Yeah. And Ravi, Ion, yeah. Ion has been like three hours maybe. And I'm like, I hate this guy. Well, Ravi also arced like they did a good job of like, he's like, Oh, he's just terrible. Whoa. He's getting better. And so I, I have been waiting for the ion bounce back. Now at the end of this episode, he's like, I see you've been doing the wrong thing. Like who knows? Maybe this is the beginning of his turnaround, you know, and which case great, great, you know, and that would be awesome too. If this, okay, now I'm getting meta and like giving credit where it shouldn't be due, but like his like mediocre kind of acting. If, this episode where I'm like, oh, when he went to that fight, he actually sounded like a ranger. And then later he's like, yeah, I was wrong. You guys are right. If from now on he's a better character and like this is the first time he earned his ability to be a ranger and that's why he acted that way, that would be amazing. I don't think that's what's happening. That's I think cool. his best episode was when he like got into the feud with Zato. I agree. But like, again, they gave this that really early and I'm like, oh, this is a promising ranger. I don't agree with him, but like cool beans. Yeah. And then like, that's where it started to have the cracks of like, oh, but he kind of like goofed real bad. Uh, and now we have this goofy ice cream thing. Uh, and then he destroyed the nunchucks. Okay. And now he let the Zord go. Oh, where are his well, redeeming qualities? He has lightning. Yeah. Excuse me. I, that's why I said like, I don't think they're going to do a big comeback, but if they are, it's got to start next episode. Anyway, we'll until next episode, I have been Gazbot. Still big dog. And to the power. To the power. See y'all later. Credits of the end. They released more of those. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you first. They released more of those Megazords, um, like uh, non transforming small ones. Like yeah. I saw many of them. Um, if they were ten dollars, absolutely. If they were fifteen dollars, maybe. At twenty, probably not. At twenty-seven, absolutely not. Yeah, I also feel like I haven't held one, but I imagine they're similar to Transformers Red. Uh, which I think they're I, worse. The, well, I was gonna say Red are not great. I well, these are like five POA. Oh, okay. Then they're definitely worse. Yeah, the, the Red are kind of like weird material that I don't like, but yeah, the, like they look okay, you know, but. IPOA, no, I'm getting no rid one. of my reds actually. Uh, I am only collecting. I, I saw they, they announced Galvatron and Shockwave, and for a minute I'm like, I'm gonna get them. But no, I'm collecting uh, like Beast Wars and Prime and series that I don't collect normally. Those are the only ones I'm gonna get. Um, any like the ones I have, like Soundwave and Optimus, I'm probably gonna get rid of those too. Yeah, are you gonna you have RC though, right? I have RC from Prime and Cheetor from Beast Wars, those are the two I'm definitely a knockout. I just got knockout. Knockout was great because I was a big Prime fan and I got the whole, well, actually I'm missing one or two, but I had the Knockout figure and he doesn't look anything like he did in the cartoon. So now that I have the R.E.D. one, I'm like, great. You know, that was like the main problem with that series. Um, but no, any Prime 
I will absolutely buy some beast wars. I'll buy. And I think that's it. Good to know till next time till next time. I wish you didn't know when I would turn it off and on, I'd get so much more comedy. Out of it. I know you really would. Cause then I just say,